What's going on y'all and welcome on in. I know it's been a minute, but in today's video, Angel of Light Angelica and Specimen Says Banner just went live as of five, 10 minutes ago. So by the time y'all are watching this, she's already available to summon, just a heads up. Let's go ahead and talk about her and Spez and kind of the situation, whether or not you should be pulling, depending on your mystics, depending on your situation. I have a little bit of advice catered to that. And then afterwards, if we got time, I wanna share and go through a spreadsheet made by my friend Tristan Wolf that kind of looks at uh, the timeline of heroes that have had a rerun, that have not had a rerun, that are still, have never been on the pity banner. This is not talking about the coin shop rotation, guys. This is just for mystics. Let's focus, and maybe that can help you predict a little bit on who's upcoming. Maybe who you, maybe if you didn't know these units were coming up soon. Haste, uh, ML Haste, Tywin, Last Rider Crow. We'll take a look at who might be coming up soon, Sage Ball, and maybe that'll help you decide, um, Especially now if you want to if you think you should be going in for spez, especially if you're lower on pity Okay, it's a kind of a complicated subject and I've been getting asked a lot of questions on it I'll let you know what I'm doing as well as uh, what's going on and by the way guys my guild mates are going ham right now and uh, I think a lot of y'all know Warbolt, right? He just pulled three specimen sizes and zero Angelica. So just a heads up uh, We'll go over the rates and everything in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get on with it. All right, guys, so let's go in and just talk about Angel of Light Angelica and Specimen Says real fast because we got a lot to cover in this video. Um, Angel of Light Angelica is looking to be one of the best anti-cleave units. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think if you plan to play RTA, real-time arena, seriously, you should try to summon. I have some I have some of the ground rules that we'll cover here in a sec on how many you should try for. Just keep in mind, guys, a Moonlight 4-star has no guaranteed way you can never guaranteed get them okay there's no pity mechanic in place um but she's looking extremely loaded and i think anyone that wants to play pvp seriously should try to get her at least unless you're free to play and you're already sitting at mystic pity in which case i don't think specimen says is worth it and i'll tell you why here in a little bit let's cover specimen says though speaking of real fast after his buffs guys i will admit i think he's a very decent unit i think players that love him can make great use of him and um, I've seen him put in a lot of work and on top of that, I just think here's one of the most important parts It's underrated. He's just a lot of fun y'all watching him pop off with his skill three It's one of the hardest hitting nukes in the game the fact that his extinction as well um, He's just a very satisfying unit to run that being said if you're free to play and only want the best bang for your buck on mystics Guys, unfortunately, I think you just have to hold off for now unless you really really love him. Okay, because he's only average at best, and honestly, a lot of the other Mystic units I'm going to talk about here in a little bit, I think take precedence way before him in terms of what they bring to the table, how much power they actually have in terms of either answering the field or being a must-answer for your opponent. Spez a lot of times can just either be outsped, um, either controlled. Um, he, he just a lot of times doesn't have enough going for him besides just that kind of fun one-shot build. You know, sometimes he'll pop off, especially on counter set. He'll do a lot of stuns. Some of it's AOE, uh, increased combat rate, and then he'll start going ham with his skill three. But for the most, for the most part, guys, a lot of other Mystic or Moonlight five units will be a little bit more or less RNG reliant, and just like I mentioned before, bring more to the table. So let's go ahead and talk about whether or not I think you should summon, um, or whether or not I think you. You should throw some mystics in well first off guys i think one more time if you do plan to play rt seriously you have to throw some in for angel light angelic okay what car is going to do what i'm going to do here is i'm going to set aside a mystic amount and i'm going to say five thousand i'll use five thousand which is a hundred summons to see if i get her or not and then past that point uh me spending effectively five thousand mystics plus to use my pity up um, and get specimen says who I wouldn't be unhappy with but past 5,000 mystics I don't want to spend any more for him in case he spooks us and resets my pity right guys So try to look at it that way if we end up getting spez early Let's say you pull him within 10 summons 20 summons. That's getting a moonlight 5 and he's pretty good He's just not the best, but he's pretty good I'll be extremely happy you guys should be extremely happy and on the way there if you like Ange angel light angelica or we just got hit with a follow guys. Uh, thank you for that by the way um, if you get Angel of Light Angelica, or if you need like Bazaar next week, guys, maybe if you're waiting, see what the next two rotations are, because this week's is a little bit, it's a little weak. Um, so, you know, Bazaar plus any artifacts or four stars you may want, throw them in. Maybe you get some of them. Maybe you get Angel of Light Angelica, or you get an early Spez. And if you're way, if you're far away from pity, it's just a win win. You, the worst case scenario, you get nothing. And then you kind of just lower your pity towards the next ML5 or Mystic Pity of your choice, right? 
So the farther you are you away, be a little bit more um, daring with your mystics and hopefully you can get Angel Light, Angelica or some of these five stars, four stars that you may need. The closer you are to pity guys, really start considering do you how much, how bad would it be if you pull Spez because I'm going to cover a lot of other Moonlight Fives that I expect to be coming out soon, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video. All right, y'all, this is the big um, part that I want to talk with you guys about because this will tie into Specimen Says in Angel Light Angelica and how many mystics you should be thinking of spending here. Uh, this spreadsheet was brought up by my good friend Tristan Wolf. I'll put this link as well as a link to his YouTube in the description below, guys. Check him out. He's a, he's a good friend of mine, like I mentioned, and he makes content based on Hollow Trials and... Um, what is it? Expedition. So if you need help like PvP like that, um, give him a look up, okay? Tell him I sent you. But here is a mystic. This is kind of a banner history. So it, the the beginning half, guys, is what's already been through the banner. He cataloged all of it, their elements, the dates they came out, if they've been, if it's their first run, etc. And then as well as some predictions here at the bottom, or at least it can help me shape the predictions here. So this is why I want to talk with you guys about this because it'll help you put in a perspective who are you waiting for um who do, who might be coming out sooner than later and that'll help you decide how many mystics you want to spend especially on specimen says or any other hero that might be coming up okay so let me go ahead and write down here guys um the units that i think will be coming out remember this is all prediction based besides judge kisei who is very likely to come out because her skin was already confirmed i'll put a picture on the screen she looks great um i'll go ahead and list all the heroes that i think are likely to return sooner than later meaning sooner than uh, all the, la the last few runs, like Closer Charles, Kawarik, um, Solitaria, Designer Lilibet. These are all later on. Most likely, they'll, we'll see them rerun later because they were released later. And there's some that should be coming up soon if we follow the trend that Smilegate's been putting out. Remember, none of this is confirmed, but it's very likely. And so far, Tristan's been on point. So, as you can see here, guys, Sage Ball is one on the bottom. I think Sage Ball is coming soon after Judge Kisei. So we got Specimen Says. We get a new hero, which might be Emma Lewis, might be Bellion, but we're going to focus on the reruns. We get, um, after that, we get Judge Kisei confirmed. And then it's any, it's who knows. But I think these five or these four units, I don't know how many exactly, are more likely than the others. And let's start with, um, I believe we had DJB already. He's already been on the Mystics. I think May Chloe was too. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think she was. But I believe the first one will be Ambitious Tywin and Sage Ball. So Sage Ball has not been on Mystic Pity yet. What does that mean, guys? Well, if before some of y'all were playing, Mystics and even Covenant Summons did not have a Pity system. So you could throw in as many Mystics as, you know, a million. And you could get, you, there was no guaranteed way to get it. Fortunately, they fixed that. And uh, that's why sometimes you'll see First Banner or Pity or not. That's just what that means. But Ambitious Tywin is looking like... In order of his release, he's going to be coming out sooner than later. Sage Ball, like Tristan wrote at the bottom, has not been on Mystic Rerun yet. So he's very likely. And remember, guys, this all kind of coincides with the coin shop. So some of y'all be, might be like, Car, I think they were run. Make sure you're not talking about the coin shop, guys, because this kind of runs alongside the Mystic uh, Summons. And Smilegate doesn't overlap these. So this is even more evidence as to what might be coming to the Mystics. Remember, we're only talking about the Mystic Summons, those red medals that you use and you can get pity. These are only for whales that have dupes, or if you're unlucky and you had dupe ML5s to get those coins, okay? Galaxy Coins is separate from Mystic Shop Rotation. So, what do I think again? Sorry, I clicked the wrong tab. Sage Ball, I think, is the most likely to come out next, followed by Ambitious Tywin. We already had Little Queen Charlotte confirmed. Um, I don't think they'll do Spectenny again, because uh, she already had, uh, I think, a run, both a run and a skin release. Um, but I think Ambitious Tywin, Sage Ball, Blood Moon Haste. I'll write a list on the screen for y'all at the end to recap. Um, Rylet, maybe. And then Briar Witch Iceria, Last Rider Crow. So there's actually a good chunk uh, of units. One more time, guys. Sage Ball, Ambitious Tywin, Remnant Violet, Briar Witch Iceria, Last Rider Crow. Okay. And I think all those units are much more impactful. I know some people are going to meme about Remnant Violet. Let's go and talk about Remnant Violet real fast. Um, I think he is good, but a lot of y'all are having fun with Violet. And if you don't like that dodge play style, a lot of y'all, I know your Rylet's just die out of nowhere. I do think he needs insane gear, especially a lot of bulk. But even him, I would say I put him above Specimen Says and even above Judge Kisei. Or especially above Judge Kisei. Specimen Says above Judge Kisei as well. Um, but let's go ahead and go down the list and I'll tell you which ones I think are the best. Right? So... Specimen says, specimen says just average. Judge Kisei, I think, needs one of the best, one of the Moonlight Fives that needs the most work. Unless they rework her, guys, you should skip her. Um, even though her skin looks amazing, 
She's just not in a great spot overall. Ambitious Tywin, I think, is one of the first. Uh, he's a very, very impactful unit. Even though right now you don't see him too often, I expect him to make a comeback. I was actually talking with my guildmates earlier, and there's a lot of theorycraft you can do, especially with high effectiveness and stunning. A lot of people are building their soul weavers and knights with not enough effect resist, so I do expect him to come back. And he's always good against debuffers, especially single target ones like Bazaar, or single debuffs, excuse me, like Bazaar. So Ambitious Tywin, very good. Um, who was next up? We had Blood Moon Haste is one of the best spots ever, guys. This might be my top pick. If you had to pick one uh, and you only cared about performance, Blood Moon Haste has always been good, even as a standalone unit. But even a, even after Arbiter Village, look at how popular May Chloe is now and Ruel is making a comeback. Blood Moon Haste is better than he's ever been. And even without anti-revive, things like that, he's just a strong unit because of what he brings to the table. High nuke potential, can hold good Soul Weaver artifacts, does decent damage on his own, and... Um, yeah, very tanky. Also brings mitigation. Super, super good with a big nuke and heal. Uh, after that, we had Rylet, who I kind of mentioned. He would be one I think a lot of y'all don't like, but if you did like Rylet, I, I promise, guys, I think he's really, really good. And I've seen some people pull off crazy stuff with him. More so than like Spez. I think he's much better than Spez overall. Uh, after that, we have Briarwitch Iceria, one of the best debuffers. She's a must answer unit if you like her as a waifu bonus she's very good in rta as well she does very good damage after buff they gave her like a one turn immortality um and then if your opponent doesn't have an answer doesn't have debuffers and they don't ban her she usually just single-handedly wins because she does so much damage and she also mitigates or debilitates your opponent after by which iceria let's go in and end it here in terms of what we're going to talk about last rider crow alongside ambitious time one of the golden boys he used to be one of the top picked units on his release most contested first pick every time I don't think he's picked as often, but even right now, guys, he's actually coming back, and he's really, really good. The immunity, plus the fact that he does a four-hit um, HP scaling, true damage nuke that scales up th up to three times is crazy. He gives immunity-wide um, buff to your team. He's a knight, so he can hold Aureus or Adamant or whatever else you want on him. And he's really good right now versus things like Rem, any AoEs. SSB if people even pick that still. He's super, super good, guys. Just not quite as first pickable as he used to be. But I expect him and Tywin to actually be getting seeing a little bit more play as we forward this as we move forward this season. Okay. So that kind of just guys, maybe that'll help you predict um who might be coming out. Let me know who you guys want most, either as a rerun unit or in between. Remember, I said Emma Lilius Bellion. Carr would love to see Emma Luna, ML Vivian, anything like that in between would be great. But I wanted to focus on the reruns that are most likely to happen if we base it off when they were released okay so expect these sooner than later in mystic skies and if any of those that i talked about you think you might really want i think a lot of them are more powerful than the specimen says in judge kise so hold on on your mystics be careful summoning too many on mystic and on angel of light angelica to recap but if you're far away from pity throw some in because i think she's going to be insanely powerful tomorrow if i get lucky enough and pull her guys with 5,000 mystics I'll see where I cut it off. I'll do a guide or a uh, test run with her and see how good she actually is, okay? But overall, let me know what you guys are going to do with your Mystics. Hopefully this helped out a little bit. And uh, I'll put all the links to this uh, spreadsheet, etc. in the description below, okay? Much love, guys. Good luck on your summons. I'll talk with you all soon. Peace out, everybody.